Friends, this punching machine you can see here. This is the circuit diagram of this punching machine. As you can see, the start push button is placed here to start this punching machine. Similarly, the start push button is placed here in this circuit. If I press this, the circuit will start. After the circuit starts, a foot switch is placed here. If we press this foot switch, the punching machine will start punching. As you can see, I am operating the foot switch here. The punching has started here. The timer is running here. The punching has stopped with the help of timer. That means the punching machine has returned. There is a buzzer here. To turn off the buzzer, we have to release the foot switch. If we press the foot switch again, the punching machine will start punching again. After the time is over, there is a buzzer here. If the buzzer is alarmed, the operator will release the foot switch in this condition. This will stop the buzzer here and this machine will be ready again to operate this punching machine. If we want to stop the punching machine, we have to press the stop button. Now I will explain to you in detail how I made this circuit diagram. As I told you a while ago, to start the circuit of this punching machine, then we have to press the start push button. By pressing the start push button, the punching machine will not work. Only the circuit will start. After the circuit starts, if we press the foot switch, it will start punching. After releasing the foot switch, the punching machine will go back. Apart from this, this indication here, this is an indication that circuit of punching machine is on. To stop the circuit, press the stop push button. Let's learn through this video how to make a punching machine circuit. First, we have to start the circuit of punching machine. To start the punching machine circuit, we have to use a relay. This is the relay. We have to start this relay. As soon as we start, the circuit of punching machine will start. This relay operates on a 230 volt power supply. We will use a phase supply for this. In addition, a neutral supply will also be used to operate this relay. The neutral supply connects directly to the A2 terminal of the relay. So I have made a direct connection here. We will not connect this phase supply directly because we have to press the push button here. After pressing the push button, we have to start this relay. For this, we will use a start push button. This is my start push button. I provided power supply to this from here. After the start push button, I will also use a stop push button here. If I press this, the whole circuit will stop. I provide power supply to this like this. In addition to this, we have to make holding circuit of start push button. I will tell you why we have to make a holding circuit. If I press the push button here, you will see that the relay has started. But as soon as I release the push button, the relay stops. If you want the relay to remain on for this, what we have to do, anode contact of this relay here, like this anode contact here, we will take this and we will connect this in this way. We will connect it in parallel like this. After connecting it, if I press the start push button here, the relay will start. If I press the stop push button, the relay will stop. So in this punching machine, on pressing the start push button here, the circuit will start. I have made a circuit for this. In addition, there is a stop push button here. I have also told you the connection for that. Now connection for the indication light is left here. The indication light will glow when the machine gets power supply. For this, what we have to do, in parallel to this relay, we will connect the indication lamp. As you can see, there is an indication lamp here. I have brought this indication lamp here. After bringing it, I will provide neutral supply to this indication lamp directly. And the phase supply will go through the A1 terminal of the relay. That is, I will loop wire from here. If I want, I can loop from this point as well. But it would be best to loop here. Because we have to glow this indication lamp only when the circuit of the punching machine starts. That is, when power supply will come in this circuit, at the same time, this indication light should glow. Now after doing so much work, you will see on pressing the foot switch here, the punching machine will operate. The punching machine will only operate when this coil is operated. That is, if we press the foot switch, then this solenoid coil will operate and the punching machine will work through it. So let's make a circuit for this too. I will bring the symbol of the foot switch. The symbol of the foot switch is here. We have to use NO contact of the foot switch here. You will also get the NC contact of the foot switch here. But you have to use NO contact at the present time because we have to make the power supply flow further after pressing the NO contact. So the power supply to this foot switch will go through the output terminal of the start push button. Because after pressing the start push button, we have to start this circuit. And if this circuit is in on condition, then only we have to operate the pneumatic machine or punching machine. So what we have to do is from the output terminal of the start push button, we have to connect power supply with this foot switch. Now our pneumatic machine should get operated by pressing this foot switch. And to operate the pneumatic machine, a solenoid coil is installed there. So which will be the solenoid coil, I will show you. 
the symbol you are seeing is the symbol of the solenoid coil. So I bring it here and I am connecting it like this. The solenoid coil will be operated when we press the foot switch. If we release it, then the solenoid coil will be turned off. To check this, I will simply press the start push button here. You can see that the relay has started here. It means circuit has started. Now if I press the foot switch here, then you will see that the solenoid coil has been operated here. It means that the pneumatic machine is coming down and punching. Now if I release this foot switch, then the pneumatic machine will automatically go up. So the circuit is complete. But now I will tell you more modifications in this. If he presses this foot switch, then the pneumatic machine, that is the punching machine will start punching. Now the punching will be done, but the pneumatic machine will not go up here. Why won't it go up? Because of a foot switch is pressed here. Now if you want that once the punching is done, it will go back on its own, even if we keep on pressing it. If you want this, then you can make some modifications in this circuit. Let me tell you how to do modifications. See what you have to do here, that our circuit here, that is the foot switch, after pressing it, you also have to operate a timer. Like I am taking a timer here, there are many types of timer here. We have to use an on delay timer here. This is an on delay timer, so I am taking this. And the connection of this timer will be done in the same way like the solenoid coil. Like I connected it here like this. And connected it here like this. That is, if power supply goes in the solenoid coil, then in that condition, power supply should also go in this timer. Now in this timer, we have to set the time that after how long we have to stop this circuit. That is, after how much time this pneumatic machine will go up, you have to set the time for that. So I am setting 4 seconds here. After setting, we have to make some modifications in the circuit. What we have to do here is, timer here, take NC contact of this timer, we will put that contact here. Like I deleted, and after deleting, I brought the NC contact here and connected it here and then connected its output at this point. Our circuit is getting smaller so I will modify it in a better way. So in this way we have to make the connection. Right now the NC contact that we have connected here is of K1 that is it is of this relay not of this timer. So we have to change its name that is value has to be changed. To change the value click here then go to tag and you have to tag it as KT. Now this is the NC contact of the timer. Now if I play here, then you will see that at the moment our circuit is not running. So let's start the circuit. The circuit has started here. Now if I press the foot switch here, then you will see that the pneumatic machine has been operated. The timer is also running. As soon as the time is completed, it is turned off here. After turning off, it again started. There is a problem at the present time. I will solve the problem. See again. What is happening here, our punching machine is getting on and off, on and off. So if you have such a problem, then what you have to do, delete the power supply of this timer and connect this power supply from here. Because what was happening just now, our NC contact was opening, after opening, our timer was turning off. And after the timer was turned off, it was getting on again, because of which the power supply was coming to this. Now if this timer is operated, then it will only turn off this, it will not turn off this. To turn it off, we have to release the foot switch. So now I start the power supply again. I am pressing the foot switch. Here our solenoid coil has been operated. Time of timer is running. As soon as the time is completed, you will see that the solenoid coil here is off. That means our pneumatic machine has turned off, it went up. Now if I release the foot switch here, then everything became normal. If I press it again, then again punching is there, the timer is running. After completing the timer time, the punching machine went back again. I released it again and pressed it again. Now the punching is done again. After completing the time, the punching machine will go back. After releasing the foot switch, everything will get reset. I hope you got this much. Now in this circuit, I will tell you one more modification. See here, our pneumatic machine is turning off by itself, it is going back. But what is the operator doing? He is pressing the foot switch here. So if you want the operator to know that the machine has gone up, that means you want to generate an alarm when the punching machine goes back after turning on then in this condition you can do some modification in this circuit. What modification you will do I am telling you. First of all you have to bring a hooter in this circuit. I will bring a buzzer here. I will play this buzzer when the solenoid coil goes back after being operated. So I gave it neutral power supply directly. The phase supply here will not go directly. In between this we have to use the NO contact of the timer. So I make the NO contact of the timer. Here is the NO contact. This NO contact is not of the timer at the moment. 
it is of this relay because k1 is written here so i am making this as anode contact of the timer now to the anode contact of this timer power supply will be provided through this circuit only so i turn it up a little and then i provide power supply to this anode contact now the power supply will go to the buzzer through this anode contact and here the buzzer will start ringing the whole circuit is complete now let's operate it once and check now look here i press the start button the circuit is on i press the put switch here here our pneumatic machine punched after punching it went back on its own and at the same time here the buzzer started alarming us now for how long will this alarm remain on until we release this foot switch that is because of the alarm the operator will immediately remove his foot from the foot switch he will press again punching was there the punching will stop automatically and as it stops the hooter will ring as soon as the hooter rings the operator will remove his foot from the foot switch he will press again and the work begins so i hope that through this video you learned something new friends if you like this video do like share and comment on this video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video